In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Keyword Generator tool within the Ali Inspector software. So when you first start up the software, you're going to be presented with the welcome area, the welcome news. So well, we'll have some advertisements here about uh, recent products or new updates, things like that, as well as some more information down here with um, you know recommended software or some private discounts or whatever, stuff like that you'll see in the welcome area. And then uh, to select the different tools, it's just along the top here. So you go ahead and select a keyword generator tool, the best sellers tool, and the keyword search tool. And at the very top, you'll see some other buttons that close the software. This one is to see uh, what it's all about. Um, there's also the help videos and also the check the recent software updates. So you click that, it goes right to the software updates and download page. And this is the abort button. The abort button is used whenever um, you have um, something processing and you want to stop the process. You go ahead and click the abort button, so I'll demonstrate that right away. Let's go ahead and start with the keyword generator. But first, what is the Ali Inspector software? It's a software that's used to um, basically analyze products on the AliExpress website. So this website here, and it's a very popular sort of like um, seller's drop shipping uh, website where you can sell physical products online. So I've designed this software to really help you uh, save time and try to pinpoint uh, really good products you can possibly sell uh, on your online e-commerce store. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the keyword tool that we use here, it's actually using the built-in search bar here from AliExpress. Now I like to call it AliExpress, but I believe it's AliExpress, but whatever <laughs> I'll probably say it both ways so anyhow let's go ahead and go in here let's say for example you type the word in toy you will see all these um, suggestions that come down here and these are the most that most um, suggested or popular search keywords based on the Aliexpress search engine so as you're typing they're telling you okay the next most searched keyword is Toyota or toys for children toys for or Toyota Corolla and it can give you the resulting um, amount of, of uh, search results that will return from doing that search. So what we've done, we built that into the software. So if I type in toy, it's going to go there and it's going to add in all the uh, letters of the alphabet and get all the keywords. So if you actually type the word in toy space and then the letter A, you should get, it's working here, there we go, space and A, you'll get all of these different um, keywords there like that so that's what it will go ahead and get so if we go and select go we also have another option here to select a category so if you want to narrow it down to a certain category you can also do that let's just go ahead and select all and click go and you can see it's going out and it's getting the results it's the category we selected was all um, the seed keyword and you can see it'll go through and you add the letter a and all the way through the alphabet, even the numbers as well. And you get the resulting keywords here. Now what is rank? Let me just quickly explain what that means. Um, as you type in the keyword, you'll see these keywords show up underneath. So it will be these keywords, starting where you see the results. Uh, rank would be, this would be rank number one for that. It looks like it. So we'll see. So this be rank number one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because AliExpress is telling us this is the most popular one. So I'm ranking that one as uh, rank one. So you can see here, for um, when we use the seed a, toy dash a or space a, that's the first keyword that came up, and then uh, toy airplane, toy ambulance, so on and so forth. Let me just go further like that. So that's how it's done. Now you can quickly sort, if you want, by any one of these columns, by the results or by the rank. So if you just want to see all the number one ranked words for each seed, you can see them all there. Basically these are all the most popular keywords after you enter in the letter after your seed keyword. So you'll see what all the top keywords are. And then you can also see which ones have the most results. Now if you want to do a multi-sort, um, let's say you want to sort um, by seed keyword you can see there's a little one there in that little triangle now if you hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then go ahead and click another column it will keep that column sorted but it will sort this column within that one so that's a useful little feature as well um, what you want to do here 
you can also use the quick filters. So you, if you just want to see all of the uh, ranks that are less than say three, just do that. It'll automatically filter it all out and it will uh, make the, the column green. And to clear out the filters, click the clear filters button or you can right click and select uh, delete filters. You can also filter by results. So if you want to see everything over you know, 50,000, quickly do that and you can drill into each one. Then you can sort by the number one ranks and let's say I want to you know, look at one of these things like a toy lot and like a whole bunch of toys or something like that. Um, let's say for example like toy helicopter. That's pretty cool. Now what I've done here, if you right click, you can actually send this right over to the keyword search tool. So we can do that. But let me just quickly go through some of these other things you can do. You can uh, select a whole bunch of stuff. You can right click and copy those selected items to your clipboard. So you bring up a file you can right click and paste and you can see those are the columns that we selected the I guess the cells you can also right click and you can search Google for this certain keyword so you click that it'll go right to Google and it will search for toy motor and if you go and select a whole bunch and you go right click and search it'll only take the first one you selected so toy airplane at the top there it'll, it'll go ahead and search that you can also right click and go and check out the Google Trends for that keyword. So if you select that for toy helicopter, it'll take you over to Google Trends and you can see how well that um, keyword is performing over time, which is really good. This keyword here, you can see it's fairly consistent over several years. And notice you can see all the, the, the number one countries that search for that and some related keywords and all sorts of really cool stuff on Google Trends. So that's a neat little feature we put in there as well. Let's go ahead and, and uh, select I don't know, say toy helicopter. Right click and we can send that right over to the keyword tool. And what it does, it goes straight to the, to the search tool and it will go ahead and plug it in and just search um, with all the whatever you had selected in here. So it's selected for all um, shipped to uh, United States, best match, and just five pages. So you can see there was over 103,000 uh, items returned, um, but we're just searching the first five pages. There's about 40 items per page that we'll see so we'll see what 160 items something around there total so you see it's going pretty quick here I have a pretty fast internet connection so depending on your internet connection it's a little slower and I noticed that on the Mac version of the software it does go a little bit slower so just be a little patient and uh, it'll work just fine so actually over 200 results I math is totally out there <laughs> But basically that's how to use the keyword generator. It's pretty pretty easy to use. I do want to show you another uh, feature here. So you go in, you can search in here as well inside the keyword. So if you click search, you can do an instant search. You know, say you only want to look at stuff that has to do with I don't know, iPhone or something like that. Looks like there is three. You'll just instantly search as you type. So that's a pretty cool little feature. And let's say you want to search the number three, and you can also apply filters up here at the same time. So you only want to see there are over 5,000. You got both of them together, and then you can clear out the filters. If you want to uh, make that disappear, click search, and it'll just make it disappear there. And you can also save your data here. So you can file, save to project file. Now this will save it to a specific file just for the keyword generator. So as with each tool here, each tool will have its own specific file format, meaning that if you save it as a project file from the keyword generator, you can only load in the keyword generator files into this tool. But you can also output to a CSV and just plain text if you'd like. I've also added these two cool little uh, features here, which comes in real handy. Let's say, for example, you go here and you save the project file somewhere on your computer just like that and then you're like oh man where did I just save that file I can't tell you how many times I've done that with other software so I decided to build this in so the last working folder is where we just saved it so there's that file right there and also if you ever want to get to the install folder really quickly you just click that open install folder and it'll go right back to where you saved it so or go to where the software is installed so that's how you use the um, the keyword generator tool.